So let's find out what the build quality for scan computers is in terms of performance will it cool again these are all at stock settings as delivered it's good to do this before you do any overclocking or install any software apart from the benchmarking software so that you have your baseline of how the system is before you do anything to it which is what I'm doing now all the fans are running on the radiator so let's find out what the benchmarks reveal for this computer, this £3,300 computer from Scan Computers UK 5950X RTX 3080 64GB RAM and they're the main benchmarks I would do let's go through them again MSI Combuster for the GPU Cinebench R20 for the CPU 3D Mark for gaming you know, CPU and GPU hardware info to monitor the temps and other info like the cooler temperature for your radiator crystal disk info for info about the hard drives and auto disk mark to benchmark the hard drive so that you know they're working properly that's what I would do with every system it doesn't take long you know it not, we're not stress testing them we're just benchmarking them and ensuring that they're within tolerance and the performance is up to par Otherwise, we know that something is not quite right. Either some settings, we know what settings to focus on, or what hardware to adjust. I'm expecting 9900. Let's see what we get, what temperatures are like. With the CPU. Before it finishes the test. I'm finished before I've found it. There we are. Uh, CPU 47 degrees, that's pretty cool. Our package is 58 degrees. Still below 60, under load. Uh, score is not good. Should be around 9900, 9800. That's a good 5%, 6% below par, so it's definitely something I'm going to have to check into. You know, tweak the settings in BIOS. Uh, temperatures are low, so you got a room where it went up to 60, so you can go up to 70 under load. So, the scope for tweaking the settings to get back to what it should be. So, CPU is underperforming. 9315 is pretty feeble. I know it might not sound like it, but it is for the 5950X. 9800 is what a lot of people get so now let's run the single core this is gonna take ages What's the temperature package 70 yeah it spikes on initial stop that a bit high Maybe less than 620. 620. So overall that tells me that the I need to tweak the CPU settings a lot because these are not good. I could have very bad silicon and this is the best. But I think I can eke more out of it maybe by undervolting and doing other adjustments. But this is not good performance for 5950X. Oh, it doesn't point to any hardware fault though because obviously it completed the test without sending the temperatures soaring into the stratosphere but definitely 
<coughs> it needs optimizing so that's a, something to take note of for me and what you will experience when you do your own test to look for anomalies hardware info is a very useful tool here let's move on to the next test what we're we going to ne test next yeah let's do the graphics card use msi combust uh, is it there we go we have the desktop thing anyway okay so you got you want to when selecting this you want to put display gpu monitor graph and artifact scanner that's one of the good things about msi combust uh, if there's anything wrong with your graphics card it'll scan for artifacts that will thrown up so we'll benchmark the 180 first 180 you need a 1440p monitor to test 45p and a 4k for 2160 anyway let's test uh 1080 i'm expecting what i'm expecting let me have a look um Sure, I'm expecting. I'm expecting 88 frames per second. And a score of around. Uh, um, about 88 frames per second. So let's run the benchmark at 1080p. It shouldn't take long. Got a little graph there telling the temps. And in the corner at the bottom. Yeah, so you got. Lots of info to monitor. So it's 59 degrees, that's pretty good for the GPU, 60 now. I can't hear, oh I can start, to, starting to hear the fans now ramping up. Uh, 62 degrees, 54% done. We're not uh, stress testing it. We're getting 100, 100. That's pretty good. I thought it was 88. I said that is very good. The RTX 3080 Tough OC is giving us 100. So a GPU for me. Well, there's no artifacts either appearing in the right corner there. So it's past 99, that is a good result, 59.63. You submit, it takes you to a web page and ends the test. There you go, 59.63. I'll make a note of that, that is pretty good. It's good to make a note of your stock settings. So you know if you mess things up by changing the settings. That it's your fault. That is very good. A lot higher than I was expecting. I was expecting 80. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's, uh, yeah, I was expecting 88 frames per second. That is good. So let's repeat the test now with 1440p. There's obviously going to be less than 88. Let's see the temperatures, they stay around 62 at max. That was under max load, GP load, 99%. Yeah, everything's, so the graphics card is good. Instantly we can tell with MSI Combuster. No artifacts, running cool. 61 degrees is cool uh, under load for the RTX 3080. We're getting 80 frames per second. That's what I was expecting. Uh, 1080p. Let's see what we get. It's temperature now 63. Oh, he's ramping up a little bit. 63. It's nearly complete. 65, 80. Uh, Sixty-three and it's complete. Whoa, that is good. Forty-eight seventy-nine and eighty-one. Is that good? Let me just double check. Um, it 
those are good scores so the GPU's passed the test so what's next next we will test the discs problem here is that uh, scan computers do not use the heat sink for the NVMe tools the Corsair chunky block heat sinks instead they're using the ASUS motherboard heat sink cover that could be a problem run crystal disk info to look oh we don't want that run crystal disk info so we know what the temps are base is 46 degrees and 45 we're just running on one drive uh, let's load it up so we know what the speed is and what temperatures they run at at stock settings before we change any dynamics in the case let's set it to one gigabyte file size start the test yeah. drives are good let's see if it's got NVMe in yeah it's got temperatures here anyway 46 okay so let's monitor the test these temps only update once All right, so we got the temperatures there and we got the megabytes per second these are NVMe 2 so they should ramp I'm expecting over 3 gigabits per second when it's once it starts getting up to megabytes file size yeah because the PCIe 4 they're rated up to 4 I'm not expecting to get anywhere near four for a read or a write. Over three, and I'll be happy with the performance. Temperatures starting. What's the temperatures doing? Oh, it's creeping up. 48 degrees. No, this one's not updated. Oh, it is there. 48 degrees. What are we going? 3.7 gigabits per second right 2.7 read well it is a brand new drive unused the reads are a bit low oh there we go well, it's not up to the megabytes yet anyway so they, they will be lower and look at the temperatures rocketing 50 degrees yeah, it's within tolerance but I'm used to having drives even SSDs they should run cooler so it looks like scan not putting those heat sinks on is costing me uh, some temperature but the performance is excellent look it's nearly four gigabits per second right and five read It'll be lightning fast but the price is temperature 51 that's still okay 51 is not too bad if it was going to 60 I'd be you know a bit more worried about long-term use 51 is fine and it's sustaining the read rights you don't want to do a test too often Oh, it's gone up now 52 because uh, you know your SSDs wear out the, the cells there's a limited number of times they can be written to and written to reading is separate yeah. right is, that is look this drive is excellent performing better than I thought it would I was hoping for over three for either for both I'm getting over five for read and nearly four for right 53 degrees so yeah I'm probably getting four degrees three to four degrees higher because they have put the heat sinks on it's still within reason as long as it's not going over 58 over 60 and it's shortening its life 
Uh, 53 so it's gonna drop now test finished temps are gonna drop oh, dropping very fast aren't they so it's even slow to dissipate the heat yeah because it's not ramping up the fans in the case because it ignores the hard drive temps okay so that's the second third test complete the hard drive and anything else oh yeah let's run a gaming test the fourth test so it passed combustor gpu didn't pass cine bench it needs a lot of work doing there but hardware is fine and the hard drives it's passed but they're running a little slightly harder so i might look at putting the heat sinks on but now let's see what the performance is gaming what do we get with the uh, 3d mark where is it somewhere there. there we go 3d mark what are we going to get uh, load it up so i did uh, research before what range i should expect i think it's a score between 59.50 and 51.100 on time spy 3d mark time spy so that's what i'm expecting yeah, i'm not going to stress test it okay so temperatures are they coming down now benchmark let's hit the so what score should i be expecting from time spy well looking at others uh, results they range for similar spec machine i5950x uh, rtx 3080 they get between 5950 and 5100 typically so if it's within that range i'll be happy this is what it's like it's better for gaming i don't know if the temps will show up we'll see we'll give the results at the end anyway all right let it go let's see i'm running this for the first time so i don't know what the i'm going by the gpu the gpu is fine cpu will be a drag so gpu would have inflated the result but the cpu will pull it down slightly so it should be within the 4950 and 5100 range. Right, here we go. Oh, still loading. 3D Mark is what uh, scan computers put on the computer. But it's free to download, but it's a demo. I don't think it's time limited. No, so it should be okay to download. Let's have a look, the final test for scan computers build and for your build. Hmm. This is 3D Mark Time Spy. You can hear the fans ramping up. Next test. Is that it? Oh, we got the results now. 16,808. Graphic score 17,532. CP score, CPU score 30,624. Okay, how does this compare? How will yeah. CPU load temperatures GPU temperatures low 62 63 CPU over the CPU test Ooh, went up to 70 
that's still okay so during the whole this go the GPU temperatures remained pretty low so what this was the same low CPU temperature okay so we've got a time it's great it says great let's look how it compares against others 16,808 so now we're gonna compare it against the Hall of Fame okay so we want Time Spy this one one times uh, then RTX 3080 we're like yeah there we've got one so we've got 16,880 All RTX 3090s. Here we go. 22,000. All right, let's look for 5950x. Okay, so here are the, all the 3080 scores. Let me look for a 5950x. 20,600. 20,000. What do we get? 16. RTX 3080. Uh, not so good is it not in the top yeah we've been let down by the CPU now if you look for just the GPU I think it was 17,000 And here's another benchmark I'm running the system. Passmark. Yeah, so I'm gonna run. Run the six tests and see what score we get. Uh, 15 minutes to complete. And they're gonna stress test the system as well. Fifteen minutes and nearly up, and no errors. So it's passed another test. Mm. Memory. Okay, five seconds, then it's done. Will it give a result? Pass mark score. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Just passed. 